today we are taking some of the abundance from our spring garden and I'm going to be making some really simple homemade beauty products. Right now we have a lot of roses, we've got a lot of lavender, we have a lot of aloe vera and rosemary. When it comes time to harvest, I like to try to find multiple ways to use what I'm growing. But even if you're not growing these things, you can find them pretty easily online. And I'm going to put some information on some resources of where you can find dried herbs and roses and things like that from a reputable source, one that I usually order from and have in the past. So today I'm focusing on making some beauty products with roses, lavender, aloe vera, and rosemary. So starting first, we're going to make a really simple rose an aloe vera gel or serum. Now if you're using aloe vera that you're growing, it's going to be more like a serum consistency, but if you're going to purchase aloe vera, it's going to be definitely more of a gel consistency. Either or is really wonderful in the summer months. It's very cooling and great for the skin. Aloe vera does really well out here. It really thrives, which definitely makes sense considering the climate. Obviously we all know and love aloe vera for its benefits for a sunburn. It's great for scrapes and cuts. And you know, when my kids fall down, uh, when they're running around, they always run over to the aloe vera just to grab it. It's such a fascinating and beautiful plant and I have loved growing it and observing it. Um, I open it up and basically just scrape the inside out. There's lots of different uses for it, but today I'm just gonna blend it. Now this will work just as well if you have aloe vera gel. So I will link the aloe vera gel that I really like and that I've used in the past before I grew aloe vera. And yep, just blending these two together for a really simple gel or serum, either or. The texture might vary depending. And then I like to refrigerate this. It lasts for about, I'd say probably no more than a week if it's fresh aloe vera. If it's aloe vera that you purchase, it'll have a little bit of a longer shelf life, but you do still have to consider the fresh rose petals. So I'm gonna strain that and then refrigerate. I like to keep it in the refrigerator. And this is a great one to have, especially in the summer months. It's cooling, it's great for the skin. And so um, I like to keep that around. So I wanted to share that recipe with you. Another thing I like to use my roses for is homemade rose water. Now I'm a little bit lazy with how I make my rose water because I know there are two different ways to make it, but I'm just gonna share with you the way I make it and I love to make it instead of buying it. Uh, the shelf life isn't quite as long, but I like to make fresh batches. So I, it's best to use distilled water instead of just regular water because it tends to turn the rose water a more greenish brown color rather than a more vibrant color. And then I'm just gonna let that cool down once I've taken out the roses. You're gonna see a beautiful color here. I'm gonna put that in a dark spray bottle and I do like to refrigerate this. I keep this no longer than a month. But in this video, I'm just sharing with you what I do. So I try to make fresh batches regularly and I use this a lot more in the spring and the summer months. I love the smell and I love to use it, you know, after a shower to refresh my skin or a setting spray. There's lots of ways to use it, but that's one that I definitely like to use. I also like to use my roses for making homemade bath salts. So I use the roses and lavender. If we have chamomile, I'll use that as well. I use calendula. There's several different bath salt combinations that I like to do, but right now this is what I have on hand. So I'm just gonna mix these together. And I also will sometimes add a few drops of essential oil. My favorites are lavender or rose or even chamomile. Um, you can even use frankincense. There's lots of ways to get creative and it's very quick and easy to make your own bath salts. I do fresh bath salts every few months and then when I run out, I make another fresh batch. I'm not gonna take a bath today, but I like to keep them around and just keep them readily available for when I do decide to take a bath. I'm gonna use the same preparation as I did with the rose water with the rosemary. So this is gonna be sort of a recreation of the scalp spray that I've been using from Bondi Boost. I don't have everything that is in that spray, but since I have rosemary and I have some of the essential oils that is used in that spray, I thought I would try making my own version. I covered and let the rosemary simmer for 15 to 20 minutes, let it cool down, and then put it in this glass spray bottle. It feels really nice and cooling and I also like to use rosemary as a rinse and I've had previous videos where I've shared that recipe as well. 
So that's how I'm using some of what we're growing in the garden at the moment, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe for new videos every week, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.